Kia ora, I'm Will. And I'm Jamie. Welcome, Welcome to, to New, New Zealand's, Zealand's North Island. Island. We're going to show you the best spots to visit on the North Island. Plus the best tips for travelling to and around New Zealand. It's super easy to fly to New Zealand. Just a three hour flight from the East Coast will get you to Auckland or Wellington. The island is filled with incredible natural beauty, sweet as food, friendly locals, and only in Auckland can you kayak to a volcanic island in the morning and face jump off the country's tallest man-made structure in the afternoon. Sky Tower sits at a breezy 192 metres. Want to take a look? I'll see you at the bottom! <laughs> yeah, nah. But if you're looking for something a little closer to Earth, you can't go past Rotorua's world-famous Skyline Luge or the thrilling Velocity Valley Adventure Park. And of course, there's the breathtaking natural landscapes. Just a three-hour drive from Auckland are the Rotorua and Lake Taupo regions. Rotorua is where you'll find the heartland of Māori culture and can learn about its heritage. Tapuia Cultural Centre is a must while you're in town. For a touch of indulgence, visit Rotorua's award-winning Polynesian Spa. The famous acidic and alkaline springs have developed a cult following worldwide. And for New Zealand's most colourful geothermal attraction, you can't miss the Waiatapu Thermal Wonderland. A kayak at Lake Taupo can take you to incredible Māori rock carving. Or take to one of the world's most picturesque cycling routes around the lake. All of that adventure is sure to give you an appetite. Auckland has everything from high-end dining to delicious cheap eats. Past a restaurant or here at Orbit in the Sky Tower atop of our list. We also love Elliot Stables and Giappo for ice cream. Looking for a taste of the famous New Zealand vino? Take a day trip out to the Waiheke Island Winery. It's just a 40-minute ferry from downtown Auckland. Waiheke and its wineries are among some of the best. From Tantalus Estate to Caseta Middle or Batch Winery for its incredible Kiwi-style high tea. For craft beer aficionados, you can't go past Wellington's Garage Project. Started in a quirky old service station. Foodies will also love Eat Street in Rotorua. Or here at Apache, you'll find Wellington's best band me. While you're in town, head to Hannah's Langway for bars like Hanging Ditch or Shepherd Restaurant. People often ask me about driving around New Zealand. Best stops between Auckland and Rotorua are Hamilton, Hobbiton and Coromandel. Or further east is the stunning Bay of Plenty. And between Rotorua and Wellington, you have Lake Taupo, Mount Taranaki, and to the east, Napier and Hawke's Bay. If you're travelling with kids, there's also plenty to do. Besides the adventure parks, hikes and mountain biking trails, head to Hobbiton. Also known as the Shire in the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movie. My tip? Adults should take a dust tour to the Shire, which finishes at the Green Dragon Inn with a banquet fit for a hobbit. And in Wellington, don't miss a ride on the Wellington cable car. Lastly, people often ask how to get from the North Island to the South Island. In just over three hours, the Inter-Islander Ferry will take you from Wellington to Picton, three times daily. Easy as that. Well, for more info and tips, talk to your flight centre expert in store.